I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! You're a spaceman, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hi, everyone. Uh, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast. Uh, I'm Johnny D, and I am with my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Nostradamus. Ben, how's you going today, my friend? Ah, fine, and you? Yes, I'm going super great. Me too. It's always a pleasure uh, for doing this... Uh, season 5. Season 5 with you, and you know what? No? Yes, we have another guest, you know. Oh, yeah, another guest. And today we have uh, the legendary new monster, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen... At six foot seven, three hundred seventy-six pounds, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Congo Kong! Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Yes, we're going super great. First of all, good, thank you good. so much. We know that yeah, you, you are booked all around the world. We follow you on on your uh, social pages mm. and. Uh, Everybody, I don't know if you know this guy, but he is just not he is not just a big monster. He is <laughs> he has charisma, he is a gentleman, but he also an eye an eye flyer and he can dive top rope <laughs> the spot, on the top rope. That's insane. So we know that you have been involved in an important promotion as um uh, the Juggalo Championship Wrestling, but also in the Impact uh, Wrestling promotion. So now TNA, uh, yes, Don't now forget. TNA, of course. And uh, we have um, a couple of questions for you, my friend. So go ahead. Yeah, of course. So okay, uh, Steve, I can call yes. you Steve. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> you were uh, you were coached by uh, Joe Ortega, Mark Vandy, and Anthony uh, Totelli. What kind of coaches were they? Uh, well, <laughs> it's funny. Um, Joe Ortega is actually my trainer. Um, Mark Vandy and Anthony Toitelli are trainees of mine. I coach okay. them. Mm. But yeah, uh, Joe was an awesome trainer. Uh, he, yeah, he, you know. <laughs> student and trainer. <laughs> okay. he, taught, uh, he taught me the luchador style, really. Um, Awesome. And, uh, you know, it taught me things like um, wrestling should look real. And if it doesn't look real, then you can't oversell it. And, you know, um, just, you know, little lessons like that. Things like, uh, you know, even if you don't win the match, you can still shine and make yourself look like you're still a winner and get yourself, I hate to use the inside term, but over with the fans. Yeah, of course, that makes sense what you're uh, what you're saying. And uh, can you tell us about uh, the Osiris, uh, your first uh, ever gimmick? Because uh, you're working uh, uh, currently with the Congo Kong uh, gimmick. So uh, uh, can you tell us about Osiris, my friend? Well, I was always taught that your uh, your character should be either an alter ego which would be Congo Kong or an extension of you which was Osiris so excuse me Osiris was Steve Wilson turned up times a hundred and um you know it was uh it was a great uh experience you know unfortunately um I didn't take my first flight until I put on face paint and called myself Congo Kong. So um, it didn't didn't work out as good as I wanted it to. But the idea came from the one word kind of powerful sounding name like Vader. Vader yeah. is a big hero of mine, you know, so is Yokozuna. Um, and so those were kind of two of the people that I patterned myself after. And that's where basically Osiris came from. Nice. 
OK. Uh, what was like a wrestle for the Incent Lone Posse's uh, GCW promotion? Ah, it was awesome. It is awesome. I still wrestle for them. I am actually one of their longest running, um, never been fired, knock on wood, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wrestlers. Um, since 2009, towards the end okay. of 2009 is when I started wrestling for them. And they yeah. are the ones who actually gave me the Congo Kong name. Yeah. And uh, told me to use it where I, wherever I want, you know, and, and now they'll they'll call me every now and again and say, hey, we got a show coming up on this date. And, you know, out of out of loyalty, um, because, you know, they set me up and got me to where I am, I clear out my schedule and go work for them. That's funny because uh, the the other question was uh, <laughs> about the ICMP uh, Violent J because when we worked on your profile we discovered that Violent J uh, found your name found your name so uh, yeah. and uh, you working with with, with him to uh, to build the gimmick and stuff like mm -hmm. that the makeup and uh, that's probably why you have a makeup because the Insane Clown Posse are. Uh, Our paint. So uh, basically, we know uh, after that you were uh, part of the GFW. Can you tell um, uh, to us about one of your best moments at uh, the GWF wrestling promotion? GFW. Uh, just, sorry, GFW. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Global Force. Um, let's see. I don't know. I had a couple good moments there. It wasn't a, a long lived promotion, but it was pretty awesome. Uh, one moment would be the first set of TV tapings, TV tapings when we went out to Las Vegas okay. and there were 5,000 people in the crowd and it was this good size arena, you know, and there was all this lights and production and, and it just, it was an, an awesome experience. It was out in Las Vegas. Um, also another moment would be, we did a show in Nashville, Tennessee in front wow. of the, uh, university of Tennessee and okay. university of Nebraska football teams, because they were playing in wow. a bowl game at the Mu music city bowl that day. We did a show okay. for them as part of their entertainment. So that was pretty fun. Nice. Okay. If my memory is good in GCW, you wrestled the uh, vampiro. Yes. Okay, can you uh, share us the, the this, wait, can you share us this experience? Excuse me. <laughs> um, Vampiro, very fun to work with. Uh, it was uh, it was nerve wracking because you know, um, I hadn't had the quite the experience of working with people of that caliber. You know, that have have been to the big dance or whatever at that point. But, um, you know, after we were done, I felt like he had my respect. You know, of course. You know, or, or, or I, I feel like I had his respect. Of course, he had my respect. Um, and yeah, it was just overall a great experience. You know, it was, it was pretty cool, you know, hearing my friends talk about how cool it was that I got to wrestle Vampiro. And Vampiro, if my memory is good, is a Canadian too, right? Yeah, from Montreal or Thunder Bay? Not sure, but yeah. I think that he is born in Montreal, but he, uh, he has been trained by Montreal uh, teacher. Yes, of course. And uh, yes, it's uh, Louis Lawrence, the, the farmer Louis Lawrence. Louis was, Lawrence or yeah, Pat Girard? Uh, both of them. Okay. If my memory is good. Okay. Uh, well, uh, you wrestled uh, in the Impact Wrestling, of course. Yeah. And uh, we follow you, um, your uh, feud against the, the Monster Abyss. Uh, the legendary abyss and, and you um can you consider uh the the, the your hardcore match uh the ballroom if my memory is good uh one of your uh, most important match of your wrestling career easily uh the monster's <laughs> ball was uh or is it the the probably the most recognizable match that I've ever been in. And I still get people to this day that, you know, come up to me. Like if I'm at a, uh, a, a comic convention or a wrestling convention and people, people come up and they say, Hey man, I remember watching you versus the fist and the monsters ball. That was awesome. Blah, blah, blah. You know? And so, yeah, I, I absolutely is one of my, and it's also, I believe one of the highest viewed matches on YouTube. Yeah, of course. And, uh, 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 I I saw uh, recently that you have a, uh, on YouTube a little quick video 
of uh, of you uh, from the top rope and you splash a guy the video is very short a, a kind of 10 seconds but the guys uh when, when you receive your splash look like uh, a pancake if you know what i mean <laughs> so, and that's awesome that's that's uh, super awesome and uh go ahead my friend okay uh with your little story about the monster ball match uh, uh Probably Abyss was your toughest opponent in your career, or not? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say I would say that. Um, yeah, that's a, a good uh, a good assessment, I guess. You know, one of the the, <laughs> the most important important moments of my career. Yeah, absolutely. And before uh, Congo Kong, we saw a couples of uh, a few uh, a few pictures of you with. Um, uh, multiple uh, wrestling championship around your waist, you know. Uh, oh. And um, <laughs> many, many. <laughs> in Congo Kong, you won the Nordus stage championship uh, for the Zero One uh, USC wrestling promotion. Uh, can you consider this uh, greatest achievement in your uh, in your wrestling career? Um. Well, that's kind of hard to say because okay. there are. Um, That's many <laughs> many promotions that mm -hmm. I've wrestled for and that I've won championship yeah. for. It's hard to to say this one's the greatest and this one, you know, and and develop them. I guess if if you really wanted to uh, say what the greatest title run for me would be, would be when I held the JCW championship for I, I want to say four almost five years. Yeah, exactly. And when we discovered that, and we. Uh, We check all your profile. We discover that you still your wrestling belt for uh, a, a long ride, you know. And yes. uh, congratulations first. That that's that's awesome, you know. And uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, you wrestled the uh, Feed Me More right back in uh, 2018. Did yes. you did you enjoy the experience? Because uh, some wrestler uh, didn't like to wrestle him. Uh, earlier and in their careers yeah I, i i actually enjoyed it um oh okay <laughs> he he uh came across as a hard ass at first you know and he didn't he didn't want to you know do business whatever um he had just gotten out of the fed so i kind of get it you want to protect your your character and try to 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 protect your longevity as much as possible i get it but um You know, once we started talking about the match and we figured everything out and, uh, um, you know, kind of kind of gained comfort for each other, I guess, uh, he got easier. It was easier to work with, easy to work with, you know, and he wanted to actually get in there and do stuff. And, you know, not just, you know, there's some guys they get out of the Fed and they don't they run the same match and it's a match geared towards getting them over and protecting them, keeping them from getting hurt. But Ryback was actually really cool and really wanted to, to do some 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 different stuff so i can't say i had that same experience with ride back as other people <laughs> super and um do you think that a congo kong could be a good asset for the wwe promotion i do um <laughs> i absolutely do uh the problem is i'm getting old And so I feel like uh, my role would be probably more suited in like a producer type role as opposed to uh, um, a, an active weekly, you know, talent or whatever. I, like I wouldn't want to be on the road, you know, wrestling every night because my body is just, you know, not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. 44 years old. I've been doing this for 25 years. So. You know, and we, uh, we saw on your wrestling profile that you have uh, uh, pictures with uh, the defunct uh, Mr. Uh, Paul Bearer. And yeah. unfortunately, God passed away uh, 11 years ago. That will be a perfect fit oh, yeah. with Congo Kong. It would. And Bearer. It would. It would, but that's impossible. But we cross the finger. It is. We push that on uh, on the on the sky, and uh, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. ju just for ending, uh, as usual, um, I'll give you a few names, 
And in a few uh, words, tell me something about them, all right? So okay. first of all, the end shrinkers. The who? End shrinkers. The end shrinkers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, I the ones the the Samoan family, the entire Samoan family, all the ones that I've met and and have been able to work with, like Rikishi, yeah. um, uh, Rosie, um, uh, who's the uh, Jacob Fatu. Uh, all of those guys are awesome, you know, great, great human beings, you know, nice. I wouldn't mess with them to 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 save anybody else's life because, you know, they're they're wild. They're <laughs> they're legit. Um, but <laughs> wow. they are really, really nice people. It, it takes a lot really? for them to get angry and get turned turned up like that. So awesome. Uh, the second one, Sid Vicious. Sid Vicious, oh man, uh, he he's one of my idols. You know, one of the people that I love to watch. I love to I love to watch his promos. You know, because you know he would say some off the wall goofy stuff, and uh, it's good for good for a chuckle. But I love going to, going back and watching his work. You know, he was uh, he was a great big man. Whether it was you know part of the skyscrapers or WWE or you know whatever, Sid was awesome. Okay, uh, Sid Vicious from Sex Pistols. No, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't That's know him. The queen. No. Uh, uh, he was a little uh, limited in terms of wrestling skills, but God damn, he was a fantastic charisma and the shape was there. So. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the third one, Rhino. Rhino? Oh, man, awesome, awesome person. I've known him for... Well, since 2009, because we started our feud in JCW back then. And, oh. um, you know, he's one of those people that every time I see, it's always, you know, handshakes and hugs because, you know, he's just a great guy. And I, oh, I, yeah. I love sharing locker rooms with him. I love when uh, my students get to be around him because he, he yeah. loves to share, you know, knowledge with them and tell them yeah. about, you know, some of his experiences in life and, and things like that. And, that is yeah. greatly appreciated because it's pretty rare these days. Terrence is a very good guy, you know. Yes. And uh, Shira. Oh, I love Shira. Shira, <laughs> Shira <laughs> is awesome. I was married to him in Impact for a while. And um, yeah, no, he's just, just the nicest guy. Big, strong, um, super, super kind. Um, you know, yeah. I, 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 uh, I hope that, you know, uh, things can work out and that, you know, he can, he can find a place that, you know, can see him and yeah. he can be the representation of India because the people of India, really? you know, they deserve that. And they are, they are awesome people as well. So. Yeah. And thanks God, the OVW um, are on a real good condition with the Netflix documentary. So uh, that's uh, that's awesome for yes. uh, Al, Doug, and of course, Shira. Uh, yes. Well, uh, Aku, a.k.a. Meng. Oh, man, I've met him just one time, and yeah. he was tagging with the Barbarian that night, who whom okay. I've known for years. Um, faces of Fear. Yeah, the Faces yes. of Fear. Yes, but... Again, super, super nice, you know, super scary, <laughs> but just just the idea, you know, that that, hey, I got this guy. And, and at least for the moment, he's on my side. You know, that's it's an awesome, awesome, uh, awesome experience, you know, just to, to watch the guys that you watched or to excuse me, to share a locker room with the guys that you watched as a kid. You know, I remember watching him uh, uh, super kick Andre the Giant in the mouth. What kind of feat is that? That's crazy. Andre the Giant was the tall man. You can get your leg way up there. You can kick him in the chin. That's pretty good. And he feared Andre the Giant. Feared, yes. Andre the Giant feared me, you know. Yes, yes. And uh, the last one, Kongu Kong. You, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I, I strive to be a person who treats people with dignity i mean okay. if you if you train to be in the wrestling business you know i believe that you know you should should you know experience your fair share of uh, uncomfortable situations because sometimes we're uncomfortable in the ring and we have to put our lives in each other's hands and so if 
you know, you're a student and you don't, um, if, if we can't trust you to, to keep our lives safe, keep our body safe, you know, just like you have to trust us to keep your body safe, you yeah. know, it's a, but for the most part, I, 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 or not for the most part, I do. I treat people with dignity and respect and treat them like humans and not not like their numbers. My trainees, they they actually call me dad. They call me pops. You know, they they we have like a little family. As a matter of fact, I think all of us are off this Saturday and we're gonna get together and watch the Royal Rumble. You know, we got together right. for Thanksgiving, had a big, a big, you know, celebration, you know, just loving on each other because I mean, yeah, I could just, you know, take their money and show them a few things, but there's no fun in that. There's no good in that. You know, the world is a better place when you actually take the time and teach people and um, try to influence people to be better. You have uh, very good uh, values and it's fantastic to discover you during this interview because it's not easy in this art uh, wrestling world, you know. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for your 20 minutes, uh, your 20 generous uh, minutes of your time. So for ending, my partner, Benoit, a.k.a. Nostradamus Ben, it's all about the French prophet, and he, he tried to predict the future of our guests. So go ahead, my friend. Yeah, first of all, uh, Steve, uh, thank you so much uh, for the interview. It was huge, thank amazing. You. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you Thank wrestle? You. Did you wrestle in Japan? No, I haven't been to Japan yet. Okay, I that's it. somewhere I wanted to go, but I've been to I've been to China and India, and Puerto Rico, and of course Canada. I haven't been to Montreal yet. In Montreal or, or Quebec. In Quebec, why not? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of important. Uh, Uh, there's uh, probably 20 wrestling, uh, important wrestling promotion in Quebec City. So I remember yeah. talking to, to, to you're Jonathan, right? Yeah. Yeah. I remember talking to you about coming up there for a show and it yeah. just never, never happened. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That uh, QCW. Yeah. What for the QCW? Oh, okay. you know, yeah. Uh, he's the former booker. Yeah. 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 I'm But the there's still time. Yeah, yeah. There's still time. And I know you got some influence up there. <laughs> But I have a lot of uh, contacts in the wrestling business, you know, so yes. Uh, yes, we keep it in touch, you know. Uh, okay. Go, okay, go, uh, go for your prediction, my Yeah, friend. okay. Uh, I predict to you, uh, you're going to play uh, maybe a Camelo in a future uh, wrestling documentary. Oh. As a... As a um, Camelo or uh, someone. Uh, uh, as uh, the um, Dark Side of the Ring. Oh, Dark Side of the Ring or whatever. Or okay. Uh, yeah. With the, the face paint, the, the stars and the moon uh, on the belly. Okay, awesome. I, I will do that. No problem. <laughs> I would love to. Kamala was awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so uh, you're watching the Wrestle Rock podcast season five. We're with the legendary himself, Congo Kong. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, It thank was you so much. a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Yes, Welcome. thank you so much. And have a great day, my friend. Goodbye. Thank you. You too.